Hi, good day. This is Francis Miguel, your Chief Finance Officer at Alliance in Motion Global. My topic for today is NDO, New Distributors Orientation. Anyway, before I begin, many people ask me why I chose MLM industry to make it a full-time career over my profession as a computer engineer. At first, you have to ask me why. I know you can relate to this. You know, even if you work every day, eight hours a day, no time off, you cannot hire someone to do the job for you. But guess what? The boss will always make the money. You see, no work, no pay. It's always a linear income. But in MLM, I learned more than 20 years ago. They call it the law of leverage. Or in other words, multiplication of time through others. Leverage means you multiply your time. These are the things that rich people do that poor people don't. And I learned that at the age of 24. That's why I get rich. Someone asked me if you want to leverage your time, why didn't I go to traditional business? Well, I witnessed at a young age, my grandparents went into construction business. My parents went into bus transportation and restaurants. And guess what? It's capital intensive. And other than that, you need a lot of experience to begin. And of course, there is so much risk. It's too risky. In traditional business, you always need a big capital. What if your neighborhood has a bigger capital, like if you have a sari-sari store, a small store, and then one day, Schumart came along in your area. So what happened? Small fish eaten up by a big fish. Nowadays, I have seen many traditional businesses close up. They cannot cope up with rentals, with competition, and the important thing, innovation. And the worst part is, if you don't innovate, you're going to evaporate. Why? Because here is the trend. You can do business locally, but expand your market globally. Because nowadays, online is the thing. If you don't do that, soon enough, your game is over. But most businesses that went online survive. Now, I'm going to share to you my 24 years experience in this MLM industry. And this is what my presentation is all about. So what's the beauty and potential benefit of being involved in MLM industry? And here's the good news. You can start part-time. I started part-time and most people that I met who became successful in this marketing business started part-time. And you can start small, a little about $300 to $400 to begin. And here's the encouraging part. Me and my business partners will guide you from how to get started to your success for free. Here are some tips for you to become successful like my top 20 business partners did on their first three months. First tip, you have to overcome your fear and your doubt because these are the killing machine inside of you. I guarantee that. How to overcome fear and doubt? By studying the facts. Our CEO has been awarded the top CEO of MLM in the whole world according to business.org. Our product provider is Nature's Way based in Utah. And according to BIR, Bureau of Internal Revenue, we are ranked number 12 for 2015 as a taxpayer company. And here's the exciting part. We were awarded not once but twice in Guinness World of Records. Always remember, if you analyze too much, you get paralyzed. So I suggest get involved and take an action. Tip number two, you have to take care of your attitude. For me, it's 80% attitude and 20% skill. Based on my experience and based on what I witnessed with the top 20 distributors, they have this good learning and listening attitude or GLLA. You need to listen to your mentor and the professors in this business. You have to humble yourself and learn the basics because we and your business partners we're gonna mentor you and guide you for you to become successful in this business. My third tip, you have to have this belief system. Believe in our company, believe in the product by simply using it. Before you share it to others, you have to use it. And third, 
like people who will guide you and mentor you, especially the professors in this industry. These things are free. My fourth tip is all about commitment. You can try, you can do your best, or you can do whatever it takes. But what's worked for me and for even for the top distributors and your mentor as well, they have this whatever it takes commitment. It's a guarantee for success. And my fifth tip, be prepared for discouragement. Some of them are your relatives. Surprisingly, they are your close friends, co-workers. I mean, they're everywhere. But here's my formula that worked for me. Apply the SW3 next. Some will, some won't. So what? Just go to the next. Move on. My sixth tip for you to succeed. Always maintain that enthusiasm. Be excited. To get involved, always be enthusiastic with the product, with the company, and to your dreams. Because one day, they become a reality. And my seventh tip is all about focus. And based on my observation, 90% of distributors who become wealthy beyond their wildest expectations have this focus. You can focus your energy in building your leader, the leadership skills in you. You can also focus on building relationships. You can focus on money management. And the bottom line is good health. If you use these useful tips, uh, we want to see you one day. You drive your own car, having your own house. You can have more time with your family. I mean, quality time if you focus yourself with this business. And this is my effective tip for you to succeed. You have to have a goal. So it's all about goal setting and be smart. It means specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and of course, it has to have a time bound. I would suggest make a dream board because you are now practicing the law of attraction. Always remember, a goal is a dream with a deadline. By following my useful tips, I know one day you will be successful. You, have, you can drive your own car, you can have your own house, more quality time with your family, more leaders that you develop along the way, you have built relationships, but the bottom line is for you to stay successful and ongoing success, you have to have a humility. Because humility humiliates poverty from African proverbs.